Hi, it's Stuart Sutton at One Acre Plus Homes. We're at Gabriel's Overlook. Well, not physically, but you're seeing not a real clear picture of the entrance. But we're going to talk about the statistics in Gabriel's Overlook, 2012 compared to 2011. We've done a lot of One Acre Plus neighborhoods to show you what's going on. Gabriel's Overlook saw a dramatic improvement in home sales. As a matter of fact, more than double, 144% increase in home sales in Gabriel's Overlook in 2012 compared to 2011. Very, very positive. Homes spent 25% less time on the market in Gabriel's Overlook. Another very positive statistic. Both of those indicate consumer demand increasing for homes in Gabriel's Overlook. Now, a couple of things that aren't as positive. The average sale price did fall slightly in Gabriel's Overlook. Uh, as a matter of fact, the average price per square foot uh, fell slightly as well. Now, don't take those as meaning that home values are depreciating. Um, a lot of times, the average home price having dropped a little bit means that more inexpensive homes or more of the lesser uh, expensive homes in a neighborhood sell during that time period. So just the fact that uh, um, uh, average price is less doesn't mean values are dropping. Now, average price per square foot is kind of contradictory because if less expensive homes sold, that typically means a little bit higher price per square foot. In this case, the price per square foot and the average price both dropped a little bit, but once again, it's okay. The reason is because all the consumer demand indicators, number of homes, how fast they sold in this one. Buyers are willing to pay more for homes in Gables Overlook than they were a year ago. So in 2012, buyers paid 1.5% closer to asking price than they did in 2011. That stat all by itself puts an extra $57.97 over, I mean, nearly $6,000 in a Gables Overlook home seller's bank account just simply because the buyers want to pay closer to your asking price. So even though average price was down slightly, average price per square foot was down slightly, consumer demand indicators, more homes sold, they spent less time on the market, Gables Overlook home buyers paid closer to asking, those are all positive, meaning that Gables Overlook is definitely in a recovery trend. Once again, I'm Stuart Sutton at one acre plus homes. See all the homes in Gabriel's Overlook on the market at any given time at oneacreplus.com. And let me know if I can do anything at all. Make it a powerful day. Bye-bye.